so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, <coughs> excuse me, and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post something new. Also, after you watch this video, if you like it, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that share button underneath so you can share it with all your friends and family. I would appreciate it because I am trying to grow my channel. So tonight I'm going to be doing part one of a paint your teacup kind of, I don't want to say series because it may only be one, uh, two or three, probably just two I'm hoping. But anyhow, I've got a cute little teacup and a saucer that I bought at Old Time Pottery one of my favorite places here to go for cheap glassware. I'm going to be using yellow ochre, burnt umber, thicket, magenta, citrus green, wicker white, sorry, and butler magenta. Now this one I'm not even sure if they still make it. I have a tendency to buy paint, not use it, and then kind of hold on to it. All these are folk art paints. Some are just the enamels and some of them are multi-surface. I am trying to switch over to the multi-surface so that I just have one type of paint for a variety of surfaces that I'll be painting on. Alright, so let's get started. Tonight, I um, forgot to tell you, I'm using a number 12 Royal Aqualon Filbert brush. I'm hoping you could see. I never really can tell how I'm holding this if you can see it. But anyhow, just going to do a simple flower on each side of this cup. And then some painting around the probably the outer parts of the little saucer. And I'm trying to leave some space here in the center because I did this once and then didn't actually leave enough room. So then I'm just going to pick up the next color, which is the, the Butler Magenta. The first layer was the magenta. And just go over, over the top of it. Gives it a little bit more interest, plus it gives it a little bit more added durability. And why is that? If you follow me, you'll know why. The reason it gives it more durability is the fact that it's a thicker coat of paint. And I'm basically, again, just touching it, turning it, touching it, and turning it. So you can see the different, the different colors really throughout the painting. All right, simple. I'm going to turn it around, do the same thing over here or similar. I'm not even rinsing out my brush as I'm doing it. And maybe I should have. But I'm just going to do this, pull it, do that, pull it. Come down here, just touch it, pull. Very simple, very simple design. And that's one thing too, if you follow me, you know my intention is to make things simple so that it's easy for people to do. I like simple little projects and hopefully that's something that I'm uh, maybe teaching you a little bit of something that will enable you to do these on your own. If you're not somebody that's already painting, that's my thing is I just want people to be creative and feel comfortable being creative. You know, that's that's it, the gist of it. All right, so right here I'm going to kind of touch off some of my brush. And I'm just going to do just some quick little petals here. Not going to vary the flower. You know, eventually I can do that, but really for tonight's video, I'm just going to do the same flower. And I got a little bit of water on here. I did wash my wash my glassware and that's important too before you start painting that you wash it. I will be baking this. Once I give it some time to dry I'll probably not bake it tonight I'll probably bake it tomorrow and with my paint it's 
350 degrees for 30 minutes. I put my glassware in the oven cold, or in the cold oven, I should say. I'm saying it backwards. And the reason being is that that will allow the temperature of the glass to change gradually and protect it from from actually breaking. It's the, the quick change in temperature that will cause your glass to break if if you know if you do do that too quickly. These are getting a little thick. Getting a little thick with my paint. And then just do I mean there's a variety of ways you can do this where you you can do it where you get a smaller brush or you just do a lighter pressure and you only do part of the leaf with a different color. I, with this project, am doing this on purpose because I do want the paint to be on here thicker. And you're going to have to come back and watch the next video to find out what, it, what project I'm actually doing with this. So I'm sorry, you're going to have to Stick with me for at least one more video if you want to see what this is going to be used for. Because I'm not drinking tea out of it. I could, but I'm not. So my grandkids would probably love it if I drank tea out of it, but I'm not going to. So I'm rinsing my brush out because I do want it rinsed out for the next part. I am going to use my, I forgot to even mention this, it's a quarter inch scruffy brush by Plaid. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and tap in the centers. And hopefully, now I didn't dry, I'm not drying this in between so I could have quite a bit of paint coming off of my brush or turning pink or whatnot. So I'm going to try to keep that from happening too much here because that's not really the look I'm going for. So you could make ledgers dry if you wanted to avoid that because I'm, like I said, with the video and all, I'm just trying to get it done for you. Alright, so I'm just tapping on here. Now if the paint weren't wet, it would probably be a little bit easier to get even a neater center tapped in. However, with with the wetness of the paint, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So it's it would be great if you had the ch time to allow it to dry a little bit, or maybe even hit it with a dryer or whatnot. But that's cute. No, that's fine. Um, I, when I rinse it out here, just, or not rinse it, but scrape it off a little bit. And then come back here to do the same thing. I'm just kind of tapping on my plate to get some paint out of it. Alright, and then to basically just doing the same thing. And you can tap it with the, with the brown and the ochre heading in different directions on your on your little plate if you want. They don't have to be going the same direction. But I think these are just quaint, quirky little little flowers. Kind of fun. Nothing too serious. Take a little bit of paint out of there again. Alright, got that. Now again, like I said, I'm just keeping this really simple, this project. I am going to double load my filbert brush and just tipping from side to side in here and just for the purpose of this video just doing some really quick quick little leaves
And with this type of leaf, you could actually go, you know, do like two sides of it. I don't, I'm not explaining myself very well, but you could do like this part here and then come up and do like another part like that. And it's actually one leaf, but it kind of looks like two. And then just run the little, you know, that didn't go in very well. Do it a little bit thicker too. Now if you have any ideas what project I'm going to actually be using these for, make a comment down below if you have a guess. I pulled a little bit of pink in there. Not really what I wanted to do. Trying to correct a little bit here. Yeah, it's all right. Sometimes it just gives you gives you a little bit more interest in something when you have another color present. I keep doing it, and that's one advantage too. If you wanted to give it some time to dry before painting over it, you know, you could avoid that or try not to touch it. I think this is a cute little leaf to use. Very easy. Now it almost reminds me of a partial heart. And maybe you could even do a heart that way. And I have a hard time with this teacup for some reason. I keep wanting to put my fingers in the paint on the other side. Not really sure what the drive is for me on that one. This is going to be a fun project. I hope you like it. I hope it turns out. It's the first time I've ever done one like this. So again, please make sure you come back for the second part. I'm going to do a few things to this before I actually come back with the with the finish, but I'll tell you what I did. It's not something that really needs to be demonstrated. Alright, got that. Hopefully I did, oh, I didn't mess up. up. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! All right, I'm going to scrape a little bit of this paint off. I seem to be getting a little heavy on the paint. So here we go. A little bit more on here. I like, I like more of the darker green in here, and I think I have some water on this plate is what's happening. I did just just wash it or yeah I just washed it before I started doing the video so that's one thing to make sure when you're when you wash your your glassware that you do dry it well so it's getting a little runny right there I get to use my nifty little cleaning tool. Yeah, I really don't want water mixing with this. to go over and touch up that leaf too. That's where the water is actually. 
Yikes, didn't notice that earlier. Okay, so here I go. See, mistakes do happen. Happen to the best of us. And that's one thing you really want to try to avoid is water mixing with your with your glass paint because that can be very harmful to the to the you know the curing of the paint and the durability part of it. Like I said, just very cute, very simple, nothing too, too mind-blowing here. For some reason, with the way I'm doing this, I keep getting so much paint on my brush. I mean, you can go back and forth with it, just kind of blend it in if you want. Just trying to get a good flow here with this. Like that. I'm not really sure why on the bottom of this one it's not wanting to, it's almost like it doesn't want to stick to it. Hopefully it's not because of water. Well, like I said, that's a point, a good point. Just make sure that if you were to, I don't really like how that looks, to do this, that you make sure that you're, that you're dry. I got some pink in there, I'll tell you. I just wanted to fix it a little bit. Not happy with the way that's looking. Beginning to feel like I could do the leaves on the top part so much better. And these ends are not turning out the way I want them, but... Oh, well. Say life happens. a little bit and then just maybe come down in here again and I'm leaving this other corner open on purpose because of the project that I'm doing the crisper in there and you'll see all right so here we go I'm not going to set these on here but I think that's cute very cute bright set. Now another thing you could do, and I think I might do on this one, just to give throw in some interest, is use one of my stylus or dotting tools as I've called them before. People kind of weren't too happy that I called them that. But anyhow, use your stylist and put in some dots. And this is just a little bit brighter dot. If I can get the paint here. Let me get some more out here. Tell ya. I 
I just like to add a few little dots here and there. And like I said, this is the one that has the water on it, so I'm going to be careful with that. So I think I'm going to, I don't know, I guess it closed up. I thought I was going to have to redo it. Yeah, it's still got water on it. But I'm not going to mess with it too much. It will dry out. I'll probably come back with a white in here too. I just want to make sure I don't stick my fingers in this again. I love, I like dots a lot. Okay, I'm going to stick it into my white. And then try to do this a little bit here and there. These dots just make me happy. They make me happy. Yep. Like I said, that water is that water is causing problems. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add some light in here. And then I'm going to turn it around. All right, we're almost finished. All right, so I think we're done. Again, I'm not going to put these two together because obviously I don't want to mess it up. But what a cute little set. I love it. Alright, so I'm done for today. If you like this video, as I mentioned before, please make sure give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post something new. And hit that share button below the video so that you can share this with your social network, all your friends and family. Alright, I appreciate it, and until the next video, I will talk to you then. And remember, stay tuned for part two. This isn't done. Thank you.